Good form in golf means efficiency, the art or science of expanding upon the ball, all of the energy of the swing without waste. In order to accomplish this ideal, it is necessary that every movement of the swing contribute its bit towards accelerating the club head. The swing can never be entirely efficient unless all parts are working together. The function of the backswing is to wind up the mechanism, to store up power, and to do it in such a way that the transition from upswing to downswing can be accomplished smoothly and without interruption. It is the business of the downswing to use this stored up energy in the most effective way possible in turning it into a well-directed, well-timed blow. If the downswing should be started with the hands or arms so that either should forge ahead of the hip turn, the extension up the left side would be destroyed and the effect of the unwinding of the body would be lost. It would be like pulling with a slack rope. The ideal in order to produce a straight flying shot is to strike a true blow directed exactly towards the objective. But the right hand can and very often does play havoc with this intention. The average golfer has difficulty in subduing this hand sufficiently at the top of the swing when he turns himself loose to hit hard. The natural impulse is to hit with it from the top of the swing. But the correct movement keeps the swing well inside the line of flight, once it can strike the ball squarely in the back. Instead of forcing the club to swing over and cut across the ball from the outside, the right arm should drop straight down, almost as one piece, until the elbow is again close to the side of the body. There must be no attempt to throw the club head from the top of the swing with the hands and wrists. They must be saved for use later on. The first movement of the downswing is a lateral movement of the hips forward towards the hole or other objective. The wind up of the hips during the backswing has turned the body around until the back is almost square to the direction of play. The shift forward takes place before any turning movement is evident. It is only a matter of a few inches, but it serves to start the flow of weight in the right direction. The backward turn away from the ball is started from the left foot but the forward movement originates with a push off the right foot. The entire body moves a little bit forward before the hips begin to unwind. These little discs in the horizontal line will help us to examine the transition from upswing to downswing, which makes the whole business one continuous motion. At this point, the wind up of the hips has been completed, but the club is still going back and the wrists have not attained their full angle of cocking. Between this position and the next stop, three important things will happen. The hips will shift forward until a part of the white disc will be covered. The club head will drop below the horizontal line and the hands will rise slightly above the head. The midsection of the body has started back towards the ball before the back swing of the club has been completed. A pronounced stretching is felt up the left side from the hip to the hands. The rope has been pulled taut, and now the turning movement of the hips can have its effect directly upon the club. That the wrists have kept relaxed and have responded to the movement is shown by the more acute angle between the left arm and the shaft of the club. This stretch from left hip to left hand is necessary in order to communicate the movement of the hips and waist to the club head. During the first part of the downswing, the shoulders, arms, and club move as one piece, and the full angle at which the wrists have been cocked is retained. The pull exerted from the left hip as the unwinding progresses is quite definitely felt. The downswing develops a very high speed by the time it reaches a ball, but the acceleration should be gradual in order to retain control and preserve balance. It helps a lot to realize that there is plenty of time a backswing of ample length and a leisurely start downward will avoid a peck of trouble. 